Hello, Trinity families. It is Wednesday, December 23rd, and we are coming down to the wire here. It's about 11 o'clock um, as I make this recording. And in an hour or so, we'll be uh, going home for the Christmas break. So it's a, it's a wonderful time. Um, nothing with the exception maybe of Easter encapsulates our mission quite as much as uh, the celebration of Christmas. And it's a, it's a nice time to reflect. Um, it is the, the season for children, obviously. And that's our, our most precious gift. It's why we're here. It's why we've tried to do the things that we want to do this year. And, um, you know, when you, when you think about Christmas, you, you can't help but think of your own time when you were a child. And, and now, of course, we have our own children. And, and that's what it's all about. And, uh, and it meshes with our mission. The, the gospel teaches us that if you're going to inherit the kingdom of God, accept the kingdom of God, you have to accept it as a child, no matter how, how old you are. And this is one of those great opportunities uh, to think about what exactly that means when God comes to us as a child and joins our world and blesses it. And so, uh, you know, I can't help also but think about one of the traditions that we used to have here at Trinity. It's fallen by the wayside a little bit. Uh, sometimes things come and go, maybe they've seen their day, and, and sometimes maybe it's time to consider bringing it back. Uh, we used to have a Christmas reading every year um, during Advent, after school, on a particular day. Anyone and everyone could come to the library that was decorated for uh, the, the uh, holiday. And we would uh, take turns reading our favorite stories, books um, that had the Christmas theme. And anybody was invited, so many staff, students, everyone uh, was free to participate. And most people brought cookies or treats, and, and that was an opportunity to share in that as well. You didn't have to read if you didn't want to, um, but a lot of people did. And I thought today it, it might be a nice thing to share um, a little story with you. Uh, it's actually a, a small children's book. It's a board book. And my, my little ones who are five, four, and two and a half, they like this story uh, when, I, when I read it to them. And um, again, with the idea that all of us are children at heart, and all of us are called to be children and enter the kingdom, uh, maybe I'll share this with you today. So it's going to take a little doing, um, probably more coordination than I'm capable of. But the, the book is called The Christmas Baby. And it's written by Marion Dane Bauer and illustrated by Richard Cowdery. And um, give this a shot and try to, try to arrange it so that maybe you can see what's happening here with, uh, with the, the uh, action in the book. So here we go. Long, long ago, in a faraway country, in a tiny town, a man knocked at a door. Have you heard, he called, a baby. A baby is coming. No room here, the innkeeper said, and he shut the door. The man knocked again and again and again. Have you heard, he cried, a baby, a baby is coming. No room here, no room here, the innkeepers each replied, and they shut their doors one after another. The man stood as still as stone, a hand on the neck of the donkey that had carried his wife. They had come into this land of strangers. Have you heard, he whispered to the donkey, a baby is coming this very night. And the donkey twitched her ears and nodded her head and led her master to a stable. It was filled with beasts, and with fragrant hay. Have you heard? The man asked the beasts. We have heard, they answered. We've been waiting. Come in. Now when the baby was born, the beasts shouted with joy. Have you heard? They whinnied, and brayed, and mooed, and barked, and bleated. He has come. Angels sang, too, in their satin voices, and the stars joined in as well. 
Have you heard? Have you heard? He is here. The shepherds heard. They left their flocks in the fields and they searched out the stable so they could admire the baby. Kings heard. They left their kingdoms and journeyed far and far to bring gifts for the baby. Mary and Joseph received them all, feasts and shepherds, angels and kings. Give thanks with us, they said to each one. God has given us a baby. And the baby, the dear baby, he lay his head in, in the bed of fragrant hay and smiled at the world with God's own smile. Now, today, every time a baby is born, stars and angels sing in their satin voices. Have you heard? Have you heard? And mamas and daddies and grandmas and grandpas and aunts and uncles and cousins and friends travel far and far bringing gifts. Have you heard, they say to one another, a baby, our baby, is here. And you, when that dear little baby was you, do you know what you did? Yes, of course. He smiled back at us all with God's own smile. So on behalf of all of our teachers, our staff, administrators, I wish each and every one of our families a merry and blessed Christmas. Know the peace of the season. Be safe. Enjoy your families. God bless.